we're going to show you the most fabulous campsite we've ever had here in Wilmington. Come see. Well, we're getting our exercise because we've been cooped up in the RV most of the day driving. So this is the Cape Fear River. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> this neighborhood is epic, y'all. Yes. Yeah, this feels right. A hole in the wall. Oh my God. But kind of the same, if that makes sense. Should we show them this one? Yeah, show them my house. Super tender. Oh yeah, that's the brisket test. If you can play it like an accordion, that's tender brisket. Yeah. And we're just gonna meander around and explore the city until we uh, figure out where we're gonna sleep tonight. Tonight we boondock. That was an interesting experience. Yes, it was. Once again, we have decided to call an audible. The plan was to set up tonight, chill out for a bit, and then go spend the day in Charleston tomorrow. Well, we pull up here, and hey, honey, hey. and we take one look at this campsite, and we're like, um, we're not leaving. So somehow, oh yeah, no, yeah, no, nope. This is we did all that yesterday in Savannah, and we went hard for we like did. twelve hours straight. We covered, it felt like every inch of downtown. <laughs> I know we didn't, but that's what it felt like. But So this is what the doctor ordered. Yeah, so that's what we've decided. You know, we've got things booked. Some things are gonna be on the fly during this trip. But if we're feeling something, just like in Hot Springs, we were supposed to go to Eureka Springs too, but once we got to that campground in Hot Springs, we didn't wanna leave. Yeah. And that's what we're feeling, the same vibe here. But I think that's the way traveling yeah. should be. Sometimes you gotta call an audible and you know, go with the flow, you know? Yep, so we are gonna chill here for the next two days, get yes, some indeed. work done, cook Absolutely. some yummy food. And drinking, be... drinking some of the uh, yeah. low country lagers, some of the local South Carolina beer. Mm -hmm. Oh, and, and we've been listening to a lot of true crime podcasts. Oh yeah, and she's got me hooked. I know, they're, they're addicting. <laughs> they're pretty good. That's what we listen to while we're driving. But in doing like a search, um, it was recommended a specifically South Carolina called the Murdoch Murders. So that's what we're listening to right now. And it happened not far from here. So, Okay, let me show you my brand new edition. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, all the way from Academy Sporting Goods, <laughs> we have the new Magellan Outdoors Cooktop Table. Look at this, complete with hangers Ooh. for my light that I won at work, my old work. We have a pole that you can hang things from and we just happened to find this. Some friends of ours uh, sent this to us and we have not been able to hang it. Now we can hang it and I love it because we are wind chime people. We have them on our back porch mm -hmm. at home and uh, this makes us feel like we're at home because we like wind chimes yep. and the sound of them. And then, most importantly, we have the cooking section. This is my Copper Chef electric griddle that I can just plug right into my 110 and cook my hamburgers. When I need a good, quick, rapid fire cook, you know, this is awesome on more of a, on a daily basis. I still got my little Smokey Joe. Uh, I just don't have a lot of room in this vehicle. 
and I'm pretty much maxed out so I can't have a big black stone or you know flat top or anything like that so this actually works perfect I got my electric griddle and then I got my little Smoky Joe when I want those barbecue burgers Jason's cooking for the first time on his outdoor kitchen so I went to Academy and because my one of my tables broke but I kind of repurposed it but this is my new table y'all it's super cool. Yeah, love it. Perfect addition. Well, it's, it's raining. A, yeah, it's a really good thing that we planned on not going out into Charleston today because yeah. it is boring. Yeah. Okay, we've had a great time here in South Carolina. We did not do anything, which was lovely. We sat at this beautiful campsite and got rained on, but <laughs> we enjoyed it. I, I'm making a joke, but we really did enjoy it. It was peaceful, it was relaxing. But now it's time for the South Carolina sticker to go on. Boom! All right, on to North Carolina. Let's go. Well, before we get out of South Carolina, we figured we better stop and try the barbecue because we are heading to North Carolina, so we need to do the comparison because the North Carolina is the vinegary based mm -hmm. barbecue and South Carolina is the mustardy based barbecue and we want to see the difference and see which one we like the best. Yep. So we asked some locals and we were told that there's a place called Pop Pops Pit Barbecue in Myrtle Beach and so that's where we're headed and this place was on diners drive-ins and dives which we've always wanted to go check out some of those restaurants. So you know it's going to be really good. It's probably going to be pretty popular, and we're probably going to have to wait a little bit, but it's going to be worth it. I sure hope so. I sure hope so. I'm hungry. Me too. Let's go. This feels right. A hole in the wall. Not fancy by any means. In my experience, this is where you get the good food. So, again, this was supposedly featured on uh, diners, dives, and drives. We're gonna do a little research here in just a second to find out if that's true, but it came highly recommended from the locals uh, as far as good a representation of quality South Carolina barbecue. Okay, so we Googled it and we can't find anywhere where Pop Pops is linked with diners, drive-ins and dives, or anything affiliated with Guy Fieri's. Um, but it does say Pop Pops Barbecue Pit, ranked number one in Myrtle Beach, um, wings and mac and cheese world champions, uh, and five-star ratings. 4.65, so, and I just saw somebody with the big old thing of butcher's paper with delicious looking barbecue that looks legit, so I think this is going to be good. Cross our fingers, but I'm excited to get me some South Carolina barbecue finally. <laughs> Set? Yep. All right, first off, super tender. Super tender. Oh, yeah, that's the brisket test. Super tender. I can feel it already. Holy moly. Oh. Mm hmm. 
That's good barbecue. Oh, that's what I wanted to hear. Hallelujah. That's what I wanted, that brisket. <clears throat> it's delicious. That sauce, it's thin, um, mustard-based, very delicious. Little hint of sweet. I love the consistency. All we get down south in Louisiana is, is ketchup based, real thick with molasses, uh, real sweet. All right, let me try the rib. That sauce. Mmm. Ribs, different, taste different. Is that, is that pork or beef or is pork ribs? God. Not a big fan of the ribs. They're, they're good, but they're for me a little bit overcooked. But that brisket is what I came for. And that brisket is very tender, very juicy. Absolutely delicious. Look at that. Mm. Good stuff. So my job is to try the sides because Jason has demolished all of the meat. But we got the baked beans and it, there's there's meat, either pulled pork or brisket in the beans. Mm. That's good. Those beans are really good. They look really thick and hearty. Mm-hmm. And then we got the fried okra. So I grew up eating fried okra. My dad would grow it in the garden in the backyard. My mom would cut it up and cook it. I love fried okra. The only difference is my mom uses cornmeal, which makes it more gritty. I've never seen anybody else use cornmeal. This is good. So, that was an interesting experience. Yes, it was. It was a hole in the wall kind of place, but that's my kind of place. Uh, the brisket, absolutely delicious. Wasn't my favorite sauce, but it wasn't bad. Um, the ribs I did not like, It was they were just dry. Um, the sides were really good. Those beans, I don't know what, there was definitely a sauce in the beans and there was meat in the beans and those those beans were really, really good. I could have eaten the whole bowl and I just made myself stop. They looked good. <laughs> um, the owner, I didn't catch his name, but super nice guy. Um, all the workers were really sweet and nice. We really enjoyed them. Then you saw they gave us a, a little <laughs> treat, Kool-Aid cake that they fried up. That was insane. And oh my gosh. It was surprisingly good. Fried Kool-Aid. Look at this. Oh, 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 wow. I, I love trying new things, and that's fun. I love their adventurous spirit in cooking. That's yeah. that's how you learn to do new things and come up with delicious new recipes. Yep. So kudos to those guys at Pop Pops Barbecue. Enjoyed that experience. And I loved the TV playing all the old school Looney Tunes. It was. That was pretty <laughs> cool. Yeah. Yeah. But... I was glad we did that. I know. So we are on the road again and we are on our way to Wilmington, North Carolina. And we are going to, once we're there and it's dinner time, find us some North Carolina barbecue. Yeah. And then we're going to be burnt out on barbecue. Yeah, now. for a while. <laughs> then we're going to switch to lobster rolls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we made it to Wilmington. We're downtown on Front Street. Uh, just walking around we got a couple hours worth of parking and we're just gonna meander around and explore the city until we uh, figure out where we're gonna sleep tonight tonight we boondock this is too cool I've never seen a riverfront that has bar stools just sitting where you can just sit and chill and watch the river pass by literally bar literally stools. bar stools yeah. this is so cool and can I tell you the weather this is why I wanted to come north already. There's a tremendous difference between this morning 
the hot, humid in South Carolina and what I'm feeling right now along this river. It's nice. So this is the Cape Fear River that runs through here. It just every time I hear that, it just reminds me of the movie Cape Fear with Robert De Niro. Me too. That was a freaky movie. But we're just gonna hang out here in downtown for a bit, walk around, see what we see. Just passing through. Just passing through. I just love these river towns with the river walks. This is Water Street, and this is the kind of like boardwalk. Mm -hmm. um, I just love that. Like, feels good, right? I know it does. Lot, it... Lots of restaurants, lots of pubs. I like to drink. I like to eat. Lots of quirky little shops to look in. Lots of cool little shops with great t-shirt shops and things like that. Yeah. This is where you find some of your coolest t-shirts. Oh yeah. Yeah, but, uh, and this is a good time of day to be here. Yeah, it's after five o'clock. It's The sun's going down. It's cool. The breeze coming off the river. It's getting a little yeah. bit cooler the farther up north we get, little by little. Yep. You know, could be in our heads, but maybe we're just no. wanting the cold. No, it is a little bit cooler. I was sweating cooler. this morning and yeah. I'm not sweating now, so. <laughs> That's a big difference. A little boardwalk. And it just keeps going. We're going to explore it, see where it goes, and then shoot up uh, the block here to Front Street mm -hmm. and just explore. Ah, so we finally settled into our first spot. We're at Ann Bonnie's Bar and Grill. It looks like a, uh, like, a, like a paddle wheeler boat on Cape Fear River right here on Water Street. Uh, having a Michelob Ultra. Elise is having a peach angry orchard. Which, how do you like that? It's okay. It's different. <laughs> I think she's getting peached out. I'm a little peached out, yeah. <laughs> Too many peaches. She ought to, she ought to taste sweet. But, uh, yeah. Beautiful city so far. We haven't even scratched the surface. So we got two hours that we paid for parking. <laughs> So we're gonna get it all in in two hours and then figure out where the heck we're gonna sleep. Unless we decide we wanna stay longer, we may throw a few more coins in there, add another hour, but what a great place to stop in and have a great drink and just chill, enjoy the weather. It's a pretty day. The river has got a nice, peaceful flow to it. This is, this is what it's all about right here. So we have had a nice, quiet, leisurely stroll all the way down the river walk. I mean, it's, it's beautiful outside. The sun is set. It's getting a little cooler. Not hot, I mean, not cold, not hot, but comfortable. And it's just been a beautiful night. I've enjoyed just walking and relaxing along this riverfront. So me and Jason were just talking that when we get settled in for the night, we're gonna watch Cape Fear because number one, we've been on the Cape Fear River today. And number two, it's kind of a horror movie. So it's October and we're wanting like some scary stuff. So I think we're gonna go in and find Cape Fear on Amazon Prime and watch that tonight. This neighborhood is epic, y'all. Yes. It's like I'm walking down the set of some movie. I know, right? It does look like a movie set. It's every, so beautiful. Yeah, every house is different. Oh my God. But we, kind of the same, if that makes sense. Should we show them this one? Yeah, show them that house. That's really cool. Hold on. With the different colors. Well, we're getting our exercise because we've been cooped up in the RV most of the day driving and that walk down uh, the riverfront was beautiful and now we had to like hike up a hill to get to Front Street. So we're on Front Street right now heading back towards the like downtown area where our car is parked, not our car, where Ellie is parked. 
I know she didn't just call Ellie a car. How dare you do that? Okay, I didn't mean a car. Sorry, Ellie. This is so cool. So there was a plaque on a house back there that that house was built in 1899. So that kind of dates this whole area. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Look at this one. Whoa. She's a good girl. She's, She's a waiting good girl. for us. She's a good girl with our lights on. Oh, isn't she cute? I just love her. All right, so Lisa looked up the best barbecue place around in proximity to where we are, and we came up with Mission Barbecue. It's in a strip center, and I'm a little judgmental on that, and I don't know why, but I will say that one of the if not the best barbecue in Alexandria, where I'm from, is also in a strip center. Yes, it is. And it smells good. I so can smell it. I ain't it. even going to judge. But we got to get us some North Carolina barbecue before we get out of here so that we can compare it to South Carolina. So here we go. A lot of military memorabilia in here. So I like it right away. I'm all about the military, big supporter. My son is a United States Marine. Hoorah! The first impression of this place is amazing. You know, I have a son uh, that is a United States Marine, and we miss you and love you, Ethan. And this place really makes me miss him because they're all about the military. They have military sayings. I mean, everything about the military here, and I just love that. Barbecue looks good. I like that they have like a six pack of sauces here. So in this six pack, we have Tupelo Honey Heat, South Carolina Zing. We have the KC Classic. We have Memphis Bell, Smoky Mountain, and Texas Twang. So the closest thing is the South Carolina. So I'm gonna try that. What is that you found? Right, this here is North Carolina Vinegar. Mix her up, it says. So I've never poured vinegar on my barbecue and I don't think I'm gonna start now. <laughs> And uh, Lisa brought over, I think it's called Baja Bold. It's a barbecue sauce that they had over there that's not in the six pack. It's got a lot of heat. I really like that. I'm gonna try a couple of pieces, a couple of bites without the sauce, but I like to switch it up and I love my sauces. So I'll try the South Carolina Zing and the Baja Bold. All right, so here we go. Go with the brisket first. Here's the brisket. Not quite as tender as the one in South Carolina, okay? I mean, cosmetically, I like the look of this. Because, come on, let's face it, you eat with your eyes too. Yes. At least I do. And, but look at that. If you can play it like an accordion, that's tender brisket. Yeah. All right, right out of the gate, I'm gonna tell you that when we were at uh, Pop Pops, their brisket is hands down, hands down, more tender and moist, melt in your mouth like yes, nobody's was. business. This has a better smoky flavor. I like the flavor of this brisket, but I like the tenderness of the one in South Carolina. So, in this competition, I'm gonna give the brisket to 
South Carolina. Oh. Only because of the tenderness. If I could have this flavor of the North Carolina barbecue in South Carolina, you have the perfect recipe. I don't mean to sound like some barbecue snob whatsoever, believe me, but I just, to me, neither one are like superior barbecue. I don't know what it is I'm going for, but it's like I don't feel like I've tasted really amazing barbecue yet. I had a buddy of mine that went to Franklin's in Austin, Texas, and I've heard a lot of people rave about it. I really want to try that place, but still fun experience. Mm -hmm. If I had to give the winner to somebody, I give the winner on atmosphere to this place, but I think I'm gonna to have to give the win on brisket uh, to uh, Pop Pops in South Carolina. I did not like the ribs. I wish I would've got the ribs here. Um, I thought we did actually get You You gave in and got the full court for me. Okay, yeah, I gave in and got the full court for me. Um, solid meal nonetheless, so if you're, if you're in the area, stop by, you know, just to support the military because this place is such a big supporter of the military. I love that. All the sauces, I will say, are good. Casey Classic I tried, South Carolina Zing, which is very mustardy based. It was really good though, with a little bit of heat. The Tupelo honey kind of tastes like a sweet chili sauce. It was really good. One of my favorites though was the Baja uh, Bowl. And those are the ones that I've tried. I did not try the Texas Twang, the Smoky Mountain, or the Memphis Bell, because I'm tapped out. <laughs> Good morning. We're gonna show you the most fabulous campsite we've ever had here in Wilmington. Come see. Walmart! Our very first Walmart boondocking experience. It's still dark, y'all, and it's raining. Let's get back inside. So that was an interesting experience. Um, not a big fan of it, um, just because, I don't know, that's my first Walmart and your first Walmart mm -hmm. experience. I don't know. I just couldn't sleep very good. I guess it's a mental thing. I'm not quite sure, but I didn't sleep very good, maybe two hours the whole night. That's part of the reason why we're up early this morning. I mean, it's not even 7 o'clock. It's about 6.30. <laughs> As you can tell, it's still kind of dark, and we're ready to hit the road. Yep. So there's some positives and negatives to Walmart. So the positives, there's two really big positives. One, it's free. Yes. And two, there were no campsites in the Wilmington area. So it gave us somewhere to park for the night without like leaving Wilmington. So that worked. Yeah. But Jason's right. You just don't have the same experience. <laughs> don't have that same peace of mind. You can't really just let go. Yeah. And, you know, when you pull into a campsite, you hook up and you just kind of, <sighs> yeah, kind of let the steam out of the pot. Um, Not to mention that at around six o'clock this morning, I thought we were on a runway because what was it? That it was came a through? it was a street sweeper that came so through. It was like, whoa, sound like a seven forty seven flying over <laughs> us, and it kept coming by us. I, I think it was trying to wake us up. Maybe it was, it was. messing with us. But uh, anyway, <laughs> all right. So that's it for Wilmington mm -hmm. and Walmart parking lot. Let's get on the road. On to Virginia.